Okay, let's do a perceptron update example. The perceptron is a linear classifier and the way you train the weights of the perceptron is by iterating through the training data. You look at one training data item at a time, perform an update, look at the next one, keep going till you've cycled through the entire training data set one entire time without making any updates. That's when you are converged. Let's look at a single update in this process here. So we have a current weight vector given right here. This weight vector really consists of three weight vectors here because we're looking at a three class classification problem. There's class one, two, and three, and each class has its own weight vector. The next training data point to consider has feature vector f of x equals one minus 0 0.53 and the label two. Due to perceptron update, we first classify this training data point based on the current weight vector. To do that, we compute the inner product of each of the weight vectors with f of x. The inner product of w1 with f of x is equal to 1 times 1 plus 2 times minus 0 0.5 plus minus 2 times 3 which gives us minus six. The inner product of W2 with the feature vector f of x is three times one minus two times minus 0 0.5 minus one times three, which gives us one. And the inner product of W3 with f of x is minus one times one plus two times minus 0 0.5 plus four times three which is 10. Out of these three, 10 is the largest number. This means that based on the current weight vector, the prediction of our perceptron classifier for this particular feature vector f of x is that y equals three. The true label y is equal to two. In fact, we often denote the true label with y star rather than just y. So what we need to do is we need to update the weight vector w2 and w3 to nudge them in the direction that w2 would favor this feature vector more than w3 would. But here's the update. W2 gets updated. W2 is the class we want, so we add f of x to W2, which gives us a new W2 of b minus 2 minus 1 plus 1 minus 0 0.53, which is equal to 4 minus 2.5 and 2 for the last entry. The update for W3 goes in the opposite direction. W3 was the one winning this current prediction stage. We don't want it to have that high an inner product with f of x. So W3 gets updated by subtracting out f of x. And we get that W3 now is equal to the old W3 minus 1, 2, 4, minus f of x, which means minus 1, minus 0 0.5, Three, which gives us a new weight vector w3 equal to minus 2 2.5 12. You compute the inner product of the new w3 with feature vector f of x you'll see it's lower than 10 and if you compute the inner product of the new w2 with f of x you'll see that it's higher than 1. What would have happened had the true label been 3 as we predicted well then the prediction would have been the correct prediction and no update would have happened. Okay that's it for a single perceptron update.